What's up YouTube? It's your girl Sophia from RSVP. I hope everybody's doing all right. I'm here today to do a quick video for you and this is going to be a DIY video and I'm going to show you quickly how I'm starting to store my jewelry. I saw a lot of videos recently. I was watching, you know, jewelry storage and different ways that people store their jewelry on YouTube. And um, I came across a couple of videos of a chest that I'm loving from Pierre One Imports. And that's sort of where all of this uh, DIY inspiration came from. So here we go inside the half walk-in closet. So right now what I want you to focus on is um, the chest. So. I'm going to start from the bottom and kind of work my way up, but this was a plain white chest from Walmart. And I took some of those adhesive stickers, which are the flowers, and I put the adhesive stickers all over. And wherever the drawer split, I just used an X-Acto knife and cut it. So as you can see, you can see the flower splits here, and when you open it, you can't tell. And it's just really a good way of giving the um, chest your own kind of personal look. So that's what the chest looks like. It has the little crystal knobs. Um, so as I said, it's a white plain chest that I bought at Walmart a couple of years ago. And it's a little bit kind of uh, weak. So I don't use it for clothes anymore. So I thought, why would I buy a jewelry armoire when I could make one? So now I'm going to just stand up and open each drawer. and. Okay, you guys, so in here is where we're going to do the first drawer. So here I'm pulling out, I'll show you, my chest. This is the bottom drawer. So that's what we're working with. And we're going to convert this drawer um, to a drawer that you can put bangles, rings, earrings, whatever you want. So what we're going to use to do this, first we're going to line the drawer. This is just um, lining from the Dollarama two dollars for the roll and I like it because it's a off-white snow white kind of color um, and it's textured and what I like about it is almost like a rubberized material so that means that your jewelry and the trays are not going to slide so that's the one thing we're going to use you'll probably need scissors to cut it and then these are the trays that we're going to use for this drawer so they look like this I swear it's almost like a tray for snacks or something. It's pretty deep. Actually, I'll take it apart so you guys can see. Okay, that's what one looks like. All right, so I'll be back after I cut the um, drawer liner and show right, you guys so the I'm lineup. back again in the same drawer, and now I've put the, the drawer liner down, and I'm just inserting all the trays. So this is tray number two. Tray number three, and don't worry about that white at the back because you won't be able to see when you open the the cart the board at the the bottom of the drawer. I mean, back here, you won't be able to see that. But if it really bothers you, I would just put a piece of paper there um, instead of another layer of drawer liner. So last two. Oh my God, these ones are stuck together. I'll just be back to show you what it looks like at that. Okay, so that's what your drawer is going to look like when you put all the trays in. And if you look to the right here, you'll also have a little extra space, which you can use to store um, bangles or whatever you want to. So now I'm just going to um, go back to organizing the other drawers and I'll be back again. This is where I've currently going to store my sunglasses and all of this was done today so um, if I feel to change it around I may but what you're looking at here is some of my favorite sunglasses the cases as well as a, a few um, shoe bags under here um, so that's where I decided to put the sunglasses and that's drawer number five um, here I decided to put an uh, extra drawer for overflow of bangles and miscellaneous items. So in here you'll see like a collection of wooden bangles. I have some fingerless gloves and different um, leathers here. Some juicy jewelry and then at the back I have like stashes of 
bamboo earrings which always come in handy when you're on a shoot um, for different photo shoots or videos that type of thing and I always bedazzle them so it's always just good to have some blank ones the third drawer here is all my blingy jewelry that I recently showed you guys in a couple of hauls and style sessions all my cuffs from Coco jewelry and basically all of my bangles that I got recently are here <coughs> And then when I take you to the second drawer, that's where I have my um, necklaces that I wear the most. And um, you guys have seen all of this jewelry, so I'm not going to focus on the jewelry. I'm just going to show you how it's stored. And I'm not really loving how this drawer is, so I might do it over. Um, but just so you guys know, on the inside of the drawer, I use liner. And it's just a white liner. I think I actually put it in the clip earlier, so you guys will see that. But I'll take a picture. And in this drawer here, the top drawer, is where I store most of my earrings and all the things that I wear on a regular basis. So it's a mixture of rings, earrings, bedazzled bamboos that I made, all different kinds. Here in the back I keep cell phone cases that I use when I go out. And then here's just a selection of watches that I keep in a little um, box here. So. This is basically what it looks like. I converted the entire chest into a jewelry cabinet. So the only thing that it's missing is the beautiful top drawer that some of them have with the rings. But as you can see, um, I made my own section for rings and it gives me a lot, a lot of room. Um, and then I have just on top all my... Um, fragrances which you guys seen in my other haul and then some photos at the back on cork board so that's what the chest looks like just step back so you guys could see and I have it in a half walk-in closet and I hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for some still shots um, I even took some pictures uh, with a different color lining on the inside so hope you guys enjoy take care